to my channel. Today I have the first of many fall videos for the season and what better way to start it off than to talk about Kringle's newly released fall collection. So I wanted to start out here by saying that I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador which means if you use the code Wicked Dullboy you can save 15% off of your purchase over at Kringle Candle. So this is an affiliate code which means every time you use it I do receive a small kickback from it. So if you do use it or have used it in the past I want to say thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. So since I'm an ambassador, I was able to take part in a pre-order for this collection. So I did pay for these candles, but unfortunately they did get to me after the collection already released. So that's why this video is a little bit late here. But during the pre-order, I did get three of the medium jars of the scents that I was most excited for. Usually what I like to do with these big Kringle releases is to get daylight versions of each of the scents. Since they do launch with six Kringle candles and six country candles, it's kind of a lot to commit to every single one in a large jar format. So buying the daylights is a lot better for me personally. But unfortunately, during the pre-order, the daylights were not available. And even more unfortunate, the daylights are still unavailable as of the filming of this video. I'm not sure exactly why they are not released yet, but they have said that they are on their way. So hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on them soon. But yes, that is why I only have three cents to preview for you guys today, but I am very excited about them. So the three that I purchased are Bourbon Apple and Oud, Pumpkin Rum Toddy, and Warm and Toasty. So just based off of scent notes, these were the fragrances that I I thought would appeal to me personally. And like my last Kringle Candle video, I decided to split this one into two halves. The first part being my very first sniff impressions, and then the second half being my post burn reviews. I got a lot of positive feedback on the format the last time I did it. You guys seemed to really enjoy it and I enjoyed filming it. So let's start out with my first sniff impressions and then make sure to stick around for what my thoughts after burning them were. Hey guys, so I thought it would be fun to film my first sniff impressions again. These just arrived this afternoon and it has been killing me not smelling them all day. They've just been sitting on my desk. So before we get into them here, I just want to mention how they arrived today. So in my area, we've been experiencing this excruciating heat wave. For the past week, it's been upwards of like 105 to even 110, which is absolutely terrible since my AC is just having like like trouble this summer it's not able to keep up with the excessive heat outside so even filming this right now at 10 35 it's like 80 degrees in my room but i'm way too excited to smell these candles to worry about that right now but with the excessive heat obviously comes the shipping problems and fortunately for me and big props to kringle candle these three arrived to me relatively unharmed so two of the candles that i got i believe the bourbon apple and oud and the warm and toasty both arrived in pristine condition they were untouched they were perfect but unfortunately my pumpkin rum toddy did melt a bit I got a picture of it here but for how hot it really was outside today and how hot I imagined that mail truck that they were sitting in all day was this is a total win to me but since something did melt a little bit I wanted to tell you guys just in case your area is getting this extreme weather but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the three candles that I got. All right, so up first here, we are going to talk about bourbon, apple, and oud. So the scent notes on bourbon, apple, and oud are bourbon, apple, wood, sweet, tonka, and amber. I love a good bourbon apple fragrance, so I'm very excited to see if the bourbon is really gonna come through, if it's more apple-y, if it's more woody, if it's gonna be more drinkable or more of a men's cologne-esque fragrance. So let's jump in here. Ooh, okay. Okay, so it's not like drinkable. It's not a drink like bourbon apple cocktail. I'm getting a lot of that woodiness from this one. Not a lot of bourbon. It's heavy, heavy on the wood. Then you get that freshly picked, freshly sliced apple. It's not overly juicy. It feels like maybe you picked an apple off a tree and then like punctured the skin a little bit and that juice is just kind of falling out. 
definitely lighter on the apple than it is the wood. If you're scared of the booziness, don't be, not with this one at least. I'm almost getting like a mintiness out of it too. Like there's no mint, it's not like overbearingly minty or anything, but like the way that the apple is mixing with the wood, almost gives it like a little bit of an herbal minty quality. This is very fresh. It's not cologne-esque like I thought it might be. It does smell like you're in an apple orchard or like you're picking apples and you're putting them in this wooden crate here. Not masculine, not cologne at all. I do kind of wish that you could smell the bourbon a little bit more in here. I am a boozy candle lover. So having bourbon featured so prominently in the name made me expect that this was going to be a little bit more drinkable, a little bit more boozy, but I do really like this for what it is. Very interested to see how this one is going to be while burning. I'm wondering if that bourbon will come through a little bit more. I feel like this one is gonna be really good for early fall since it is very fresh. So yeah, that is bourbon, apple, and oud. All right, so up next here, we have pumpkin rum toddy. So the scent notes for pumpkin rum toddy are pumpkin spice, citrus, rum, fruit, butter, and vanilla. So I'm very interested to see what direction this one goes. As the scent notes are kind of cluing me into like a maybe a gourmand, I'm hoping it's a little bit more drinkable, a little bit more of the booze comes through. But after the bourbon, apple, and oud with the boozy note in there not being very present, I am a little skeptical on this one. So let's jump in. Okay, yeah. There, that's, there's the booze note. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. So yeah, you definitely get that pumpkin spice right off the top of it. The clove, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Surprising amount of that fruit note. I'm getting maybe like a, like a berry, not like a cranberry, maybe like a, like a raspberry or a blackberry, maybe an apple too. You're definitely getting the citrus out of this one. The citrus comes through a lot in that fruit medley in there. It's some citrus, it's some berries. Yeah. And that rum really comes through. It's such a good note in this. It smells very drinkable as well. Yeah. I would love to have one of these on like a cold autumn day. Ooh, that's really, really nice. That butter is giving it a really nice cozy feel as well. It's not overly buttery, but it does come through. Yeah, this one is really, really great. I absolutely love this fragrance. This one feels like it should be placed in that late fall category to my nose. Those mold spices with the citrus kind of leans a little bit. Thanksgiving-esque, start of the holiday season, but still distinctly fall. It's very refreshing too. It almost smells like a mix between between like Bath and Body Works pumpkin apple and spiced apple toddy, which are two of my favorite Bath and Body Works scents. Yeah, absolutely love this one. I cannot wait to burn it. All right, so for the last of the three that I got, the one that I am most excited for, we have warm and toasty. So the scent notes on warm and toasty are cedar, smoke, sweet, marshmallow, amber, and sugar. So obviously from the scent notes, this is going to be Kringle's take on Marshmallow Fireside. Although this candle specifically states that it has cedar and smoke in it, which is what I am really excited about. I know how Kringle likes to do their cedar and smoke scents. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be like really smoky as opposed to Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside, which lets the amber do the talking mostly. Really excited. So I'm going to jump into this one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, that's like wood campfire smoke. Oh, that's crazy. I can't believe they went there with this one. Oh, that's beautiful. See, this is what I was hoping the bonfire from the reserve was going to smell like, just intensely smoky and woody. You get a lot of that smoke and wood off top. Like, if you do not like smoky scents, like, uh, -uh stay away. Stay away from this one. But that marshmallow, that amber, that sugar does punch its way through, and it makes it a little bit more inviting. This definitely smells 
smells like when you're sitting around the campfire, it's burning real hot and that smoke is getting into your face, but you are roasting marshmallows. That marshmallow is like burning to a crisp over the fire. Oh, I love this. This could almost be a Halloween candle if they really wanted to market that. Slap a ghost label on this, call it campfire stories or ghost stories. Wow, I just really can't get over the fact that they put so much smoke into this. But like for me personally, I love that. Like this thing is top of the line to me. Yeah, this one is an absolute winner to me. I'm really interested to see if that intense cedar and smoke will continue to punch its way through on burn or if it's going to become more of an amalgamation of scents while burning. As of right now, absolutely love this one. So some post first sniff impressions thoughts here. I really, really love the warm and toasty and pumpkin rum toddy. The bourbon apple and oud is good as well. It just wasn't exactly what I was expecting from it. I'm excited to see how that one's going to transform while burning. But overall, I'm really surprised by how much I'm enjoying these three. Usually with Kringle's fall lineup, I don't really get excited about any of the fragrances. I always try to try every single fragrance every single year. And usually it falls a bit flat for me personally. Although there usually is one fragrance that I end up really loving from the collection, I just typically think that the collection as a whole falls a little flat. But with these three candles here, there are two that I really love and one that I think is pretty good. So that's a win for me in my book. Now how I'll feel after I burn them, we will see. So let's go ahead and get to the post burn review. And we're back. So let's go ahead and jump back in here with Bourbon Apple and Oud. So this was surprisingly the candle that I burned the most this weekend. Kind of a mix of me wanting to really solidify my opinion by burning it the most and also confirming my opinion that I actually really, really enjoy this thing. So as you can see here, I have burned about a third of this one. This candle has been burning flawlessly for me. No problems with sooting, no mushroom wicks very, very clean. This scent is really refreshing and definitely would be perfect for early fall. And I could even see myself burning this in like the late summer. Very good for that summer into fall transition. To me, it's split very evenly between that fresh apple and that oud wood. The woodiness gives it this really nice chill outdoor vibe and the apple gives it that really nice refreshing fall punch. This one was really reminding me of Bath and Body Works apple and charcoal from last year. Not necessarily the charcoal aspect of it but that specific apple note that was in that candle and I believe it's the apple note that's in apple weather as well from Bath and Body Works. It smells more along the lines of that type of apple rather than like an apple juice or a very sweet like candied apple and this one was pretty decent strength wise as well. It settled out to around a 7 out of 10 strength for me. Definitely very noticeable and present while I was burning it but not strong enough to blow the roof off my house or anything which helps lend it to that that chill, nice, cool autumn vibe. And this thing was throwing pretty decently as well. I could definitely smell it traveling out of my room and into the hallway. So the only problem that I had with this candle while burning it was on my second burn, I did have a little bit of a shrimpy wick problem. I did take a couple of pictures here. For the first hour, it was producing a very low flame. And then after that hour, it dudded out completely. And after that happened, I did revive it with the cotton ball method. And after that, it went back to burning absolutely amazing. So I do think this was actually due to user error. I did trim my wicks before burning this one. And I think I did cut it just a little bit too short. So I did want to showcase that here just to give a little bit of a warning not to over trim your candles. You can save them afterwards, but it's just better to know going in to try and not over trim. But yeah, overall really have been enjoying this candle a lot. This one is really easy to just pop on and soak up all of the fall vibes. I'm not exactly sure that this one is a repurchase for me, but I am really enjoying my time with it. And I think that if you love apple scents or if you love woody scents for that matter, you're really going to dig this one. But yeah, that was my experience with bourbon, apple, and oud. All right, up next here, let's talk about warm and toasty. So let's start out with the positives here. This is an amazing scent. 
that smoky cedar mixed in with the marshmallow is just perfect in my opinion. But on burn, that smoke does go away just a tad. Now it is still present in the candle, but it's nowhere near as harsh or intense as it is on cold. That marshmallow and amber really come through on burn just to mellow it out. I found that the further away that you get from this one, the more marshmallow you smell, and the closer you get to it, the more of that cedar and smoke come through. So if you got this one and you were afraid to burn it just because of how smoky it is, it does go away a bit on burn. And this one was pretty strong on burn. In my experience, both times I burned it, it does start off a little bit slow, but once it's fully pulled out, it is really, really strong. Definitely was filling up my room with a ton of scent and it even threw out to my hallway and was like, filling my hallway. It settled at around an eight out of 10 strength for me and with a seven out of 10 throw. All right, so now let's get into some negatives about this one. They have nothing to do with the scent and everything to do with the performance. So I don't know if you can really see it here and it's not really as bad as it was on first burn, but the wicks on this candle had crazy mushroom tops. The first time I burned it, I believe I burned for about three and a half hours and those wicks were getting really large at the end. And along with that came the soot. This one was giving me some sooting problems. They were present on first burn, but it wasn't going too crazy. Just a few puffs of smoke every few minutes or so. But on my second burn after trimming the wicks, this thing was kind of sooting like crazy. I'll include some video of it here. And now admittedly in this footage, it was not like this the entire time it was lit, but it was doing this within the first hour of me lighting this candle up. It did mellow out a bit and was going back to a few puffs of smoke every few minutes or so. But the fact that I got these sitting problems on my first burn and second burn, this was something that I thought I should mention. Now I did try to watch some other reviews on this candle just to see if anybody else's was having this problem. And I didn't see anybody mentioning that about this candle. So I'm wondering if it's just my specific version because the bourbon apple and oud did not have any sitting problems or mushroom top wicks that I could tell. But yeah, to me, that is the only downside of this candle. I know a lot of people have issues with candles that soot like crazy. So I thought I would just mention it here as kind of a warning to look out for that. But aside from that problem, I do really think that this is an amazing scent. I'm wondering if the other versions would not have that specific sooting problem, maybe the three wick. But if you are worried about soot from your candles, then maybe try out the wax melt if you're really interested in this fragrance. But yeah, a little bit of a disappointment performance wise. Hopefully in future iterations, the wicks can be fixed on this one as I would absolutely repurchase this scent in the future. And last but certainly not least here, we have the pumpkin rum toddy. This scent is so comforting. It just feels like a warm, cozy fall hug. On burn, this thing smells like a pumpkin spiced citrus cider. That mold quality of it is really, really strong. It's very, very spice heavy. So if you don't like those pumpkin spices, then definitely be wary of this one. And that rum note does come through a lot on burn as well. It's not as pungent as it is on cold, but you do get a heavy dose of it on burn. And surprisingly, that buttery quality comes through a lot on burn as well, which kind of just adds to the cozy, comforting atmosphere that it creates. And on cold, I remember in my first sniff impression, I was saying that I was smelling like a berry in here and it does kind of read as berry, like maybe dried berry, but I think it was Wax and Facts over on Instagram that said this, so shout out to Fiona. But I saw her review of this one and she specifically said that there was like a raisin note and after smelling it, like I cannot stop thinking about it. That is exactly what this is. There is very distinctly like a raisin, like dried fruit type of vibe. So let's get into the performance of this one. I'll insert a picture of it here, but this one also had those crazy mushrooms tops. And of course, along with that came the soot. Now this one wasn't sooting nearly as crazy as warm and toasty was, but I did notice every so often those little puffs of smoke coming up from the wicks on here. And that was with me trimming the wicks. So I'm not exactly sure what was causing it there. So while it wasn't as crazy as warm and toasty, it's just another thing to look out for if you are interested in this one. So strength on this thing, this scent was 
insanely strong for me. This was one of those candles where you light the wicks and within seconds you are smelling it. Another very strong performer strength wise. I had no trouble filling up my room, traveling out to the hallway, filling up my hallway. Definitely a solid eight, almost nearing an 8.5 five for me with another seven throw. And my suspicion of it being kind of a late fall candle was confirmed even more for me after it was that strong because it was hot today. And while I was burning this one, it was very heavy. And while I do like that burning it during the summertime, I was like, ooh, that this is not what I need right now in the summer. But come the cold months, I'm gonna be jumping at this one for sure. So if you like your heavy pumpkin spice, mold cider, boozy candle, strong, then I would highly recommend this one because I ended up absolutely loving it. So that is all I have for you guys today. Overall, I am really, really impressed with the three cents that I picked up. I could definitely see the warm and toasty and pumpkin rum toddy becoming false staples for me, which is always really exciting. Although it is kind of a mixed bag since the performance on them were not exactly the best wick wise. I know that a lot of people had some problems with the wicks during the last reserve launch. And now seeing it again with these new fall candles, it is kind of a bummer that we're seeing a little bit of a road bump here with the Kringle candle wicks, but Kringle is really good at responding to errors like this. They're known to address these issues pretty fast. So I have hope that they will correct from here. Now, obviously I only have the medium jar formats of these candles. So let me know if you guys have tried any of these out and what your experience with them were. And let me know if you guys picked up any of the other scents and what you would recommend. Remember to leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more candle content because I always have more on the way very soon. Until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.